Pastor Bill Bethel Lutheran Church in Green Valley, and today is Saturday, May 23rd, and I wish to welcome you to uh, another one of our online chapel gatherings. As usual, we begin with prayer. Dear God, you are the one who calls us to be a chosen people, a living sacrifice, a holy nation. You are the God who calls us to be a light in this world a faithful people, a people of praise. You are the God who forgives and restores us, the God whom we serve. To whom can we turn when we stumble from the path? And this world challenges all that we hold dear. To whom can we turn when the walls that we have built begin tumbling down, leaving us helpless? In you, O Lord, will we take refuge, our strong fortress, the rock upon whom we stand, our faithful God. Amen. Our reading for today is from the book of John, the Gospels, 8th chapter, beginning with the 21st verse. Then Jesus went over the same ground again. I'm leaving and you are going to look for me, but you're missing God in this and are headed for a dead end. There is no way you can come with me. The Jews said, so is he going to kill himself? Is that what he means by, you can't come with me? Jesus said, you're tied down to the mundane. I'm in touch with what is beyond your horizons. You live in terms of what you see and touch. I'm living on other terms. I told you that you are missing God in all this. You're at a dead end. If you won't believe I am who I say I am, you're at the dead end of sins. You're missing God in your lives. They said to Jesus, Well, just who are you anyway? Jesus said, What I've said from the start, I have so many things to say that concern you, judgments to make that affect you. But if you don't accept the trustworthiness of the one who commanded my words, and actions, none of it matters. That is who you are questioning. Not me, but the one who sent me. They still didn't get it. Didn't realize that he was referring to the Father. So Jesus tried again. When you raise up the Son of Man, then you will know who I am. That I'm not making this up, but speaking only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me stays with me. He doesn't abandon me. He sees how much joy I take in pleasing him. When he put it in these terms, many of these people decided to believe. Here ends our gospel. If there's one thing that becomes very clear in the gospels, uh, on those occasions when Jesus would speak to crowds surrounding him, or if he spoke to his own inner circle of disciples. If there's one thing that becomes clear, it's how unclear so much of this was to the people to whom he was speaking. His message, from our viewpoint, is clear. He's talking about being crucified, leaving this world, leaving it to his disciples and to the growing amount of followers who would share the good news with whomever would hear it. But he tries to help people understand that he would be leaving them, that this job would be theirs on their own. And his words are very pointed, and they're very accurate. The Jews, the group outside of the disciples, who they're questioning him, some trying to trip him up, some were actually trying to get an answer. But so many were just trying to trip him up. He says to them, you're missing out on this. You're missing God in your lives. He says you live in terms of what you can see and what you can touch. That's it. He says you need to see beyond that. And when Jesus speaks these words, so many hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years ago, he speaks these words to us today. He chides us. And he says, you know, I, 
I'm worried about you folks because sometimes I get the feeling you can only believe in what you can see and what you can touch. We're like those from the state of Missouri, which is called the show me state. We need to be shown everything in order to believe. But Jesus calls us to something so much greater. Jesus calls us to faith. Faith which is inspired from outside of us. Faith which is inspired by the Spirit. This is the true faith that Jesus speaks of. This is the real faith which he speaks of when he talks about, I need to go away, I need to leave. Because the truth of the matter is, without Jesus leaving earth, his church cannot become the people that he has chosen them to be. They need to grow on their own. They need to, with the Spirit's help, teach others. It's a time in which Jesus is done leading them. It's like a mother hen kicking the chicks out of the nest. It's time for them to be the people of God. May you always know that with the Spirit, with the Spirit's help, with the Spirit's encouragement, you too are a member of the people of God. And your assignment, dedicated by the sacrament of your baptism, that assignment always lies ahead of you in sharing Jesus' love. Amen.
God's love continue to sustain you and to lead you on. Amen.